Now that we have explored gratitude, what then is ingratitude? Why would we even care to understand the reasons for ingratitude and how it impacts us as individuals, in relationships, and as societies? What is ingratitude? Ingratitude has been considered by great thinkers and current researchers. In the words of Decimus Magnus Asonius, nothing more detestable does the earth produce than an ungrateful man. There is a difference between those who live with ingratitude and times in which we forget to be grateful. The experience of ingratitude is present in our lives. As you embark on your own exploration of gratitude, there will come awareness and acknowledgement to those moments of ingratitude that we find within ourselves or from the external actions and forces of our context. Immanuel Kant recognized that ingratitude is the refusal to acknowledge the good and, as a result, is a failure of the human spirit. When he says, ingratitude is the essence of vileness, he is telling us that ingratitude is a deep character flaw. Ingratitude disrupts the moral code of reciprocity, which is so beautifully manifested through gratitude. There is a morality to give and take. This reciprocity is violated when we are not grateful and fail to acknowledge what has been bestowed upon us. If we habitually respond with indifference, jealousy, pride, or indifference, these are violations of universal moralities of reciprocity, kindness, and trust. Negative emotions are not only vile, but they source of internal struggles, deepening unhappiness in ourselves. Ralph Waldo Emerson spoke of the vices to the human spirit with these words, Five great enemies to peace inhabit us, avarice, ambition, envy, anger, and pride. If those enemies were to be banished, we should infallibly enjoy perpetual peace. Pride is considered to be the worst sin because it is the sin for all other sins. Pride feeds the state of narcissism, the self-absorption of unsolved ambition and repressed anger that breeds a sense of entitlement and specialness. Robert A. Emmons, in the book Thanks, explores the dynamics of ingratitude. Being ungrateful is a mark of vice, whether as a one-time instance or a long-term defect of character. From a psychodynamic perspective, there are four possible motives for ingratitude. One, attitudes of ingratitude may be an effort to conceal basic feelings of inferiority or inadequacy. Two, the giving of a gift can be seen as an installment on an old debt that is real or imagined. You owe me more than this, is the thinking of the ungrateful person. The ingrate is never satisfied in this case. 3. The good deed is perceived as a sign of weakness in the benefactor. The perception of weakness in the other justifies hostile behavior toward the received weaker person. 4. It is a misjudgment of the motives of the benefactors. The gift is perceived as an act that is done to make the giver feel better or to garner some gain. Emmons describes narcissism as a spiritual blindness. It is a refusal to acknowledge that one has been bestowed a benefit by others. The characteristic sentiment of narcissism is a sense of entitlement. A gift is a right. There is an expectation of special favors without assuming reciprocal responsibilities. Gratitude can be contrasted to non-gratitude and ingratitude. The attributes of gratitude, non-gratitude, and ingratitude are displayed in this table, 
Let us take a few minutes to examine this comparison. Gratitude represents moral reciprocity. The recipient recognizes the benefit, makes an acknowledgement of what has been received, and returns the favor. Non-gratitude stems from forgetting, a failure to remember. For example, your aunt sends you a birthday card with a gift card and you forget to call her or send her a note to thank her. This is a failure to recognize the benefit, to acknowledge receiving it, and a failure to return the favor. It's an oversight. Then there is ingratitude, which stems from a character flaw. This is where one finds fault with the benefit, impunges the motive of the favor, and returns evil for good. As you can see by this table, non-gratitude is a failure to recognize, acknowledge, and return the favor. Ingratitude is a finding of fault and derogation of the intention. As you can see by this table, Non-gratitude is a failure to recognize, acknowledge, and return the favor. Ingratitude is a finding of fault and derogation of the intention of the favor with a return of hostility, aggression, or harm. A preoccupation with the self can cause us to forget our benefits and our benefactors or to feel we are owed things from others and have no reason to be thankful. These items exemplify the narcissistic disposition. They are from the Narcissistic Personality Inventory, developed by Robert Raskin and Calvin Hall at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I expect a great deal from other people. I like to do things for other people. I will never be satisfied until I get all that I deserve. I take my satisfactions as they come. Which of these statements do you identify with? If you selected A, chances are you are going to have more challenges in your journey to gratefulness. High expectations and a sense of deservingness can undermine the ability to feel grateful for blessings.